Okay, so, hello guys, it's me, Gaming Star here, and today I am back with another episode of Okami. Last time, we had basically started the moon cave, and yeah, we started the moon cave and found out that Susana was the one that released Odyssey into the world. <laughs> yeah, and this time, we're gonna go ahead and defeat Odyssey once and for all, so, let's go. If you need anything, there's a merch here right there, just for if you need anything, so let's go. Here we go. Ami, look over there. Lightning head. <laughs> oh, wild god of the heavens. A hundred years have passed since you imprisoned me here. How is it that you have come back after perishing and turning into stone? A hundred years in a cold, stony tomb. You reek of decay. Says the, says the guy that was cut in half and defeated. Supposedly. I've heard enough. Bottoms up, big guy. Okay, Orochi. It's not exactly the main fight, but you can't do much, so just slash. <laughs> that cheater has a bear! What are we gonna do now? Any bright ideas, Furball? Run, Kushi, run! Hold it right there, vile serpent! Oh my god, it is my boy Susano! Hell yes! Oh, it's my man! Susano! You came! I knew you'd come! Have no fear, Susano is here! Monarchy and I have a score to settle. Pops? Oh man, I love you. Long have I awaited your coming, oh descendant of Nagi. Now we shall fulfill this burning desire which has consumed us. The descendants of Nagi have kept me imprisoned here for a hundred years. It is that cursed bloodline which shall unleash my true power. A pact between Nagi's descendant and I, the great Orochi. I shall deliver unto, unto me dark powers beyond all comprehension. Let us seal the blood pact for all eternity. The heck serpent breath talking about? The blood pact with Susano will unleash Orochi's true power? Oh, he who seeks power, your first chance slipped through your grasp. The time has come for us to seal our eternal bond. Speak the words, I wish darkness upon the world. Utter that prayer to me and seal our blood pact. You too shall gain dark powers beyond all comprehension. What are you trying to tempt Susano? 
I bet that sneaky serpent was the one giving Pops those nightmares. Now utter the prayer, let the words come from deep within. Recite the words of our blood pact! Oh, I shall. <coughs> I am the descendant of Nagi! Behold, Susano, the greatest warrior who've ever lived! <laughs> Hear me, vile serpent, who would seek to harm a helpless woman! Your time is up! Feel the wrath of my trusty sword! <laughs> Foolish beast, did you really think you could have deceived me? The only pact for me is the one that comes with my bloodline. It is my fate to fall battling evil, then so be it. I seek help from neither good nor god nor demon. I'm an atheist, the heroic bloodline Nagi is all I require to slay you. Oh. Gold sake. Is that a purification sake on me? Oh, it is? Well, you already know what to do. Susano and Kushi made a miracle happen. Oh, this miracle had happened. Time to. Had happened. Time to work your magic on me. Get it, the guess attorney reference. Okay, so. Orochi. Alright. Eight head does has a different element. Of course, the fire has fire. You could tell, basically. When they roar, drink him, drunk him. Your stupid face doesn't scare us, you big warm. Quick, Ami, the sake. Shoot the application sake in the gaping mouth. So when it starts roaring, then that's when you have the chance to do it. So let me go ahead and give you something here to do. Infinity stones, your best friend. Like this. Just make him drunk. It's working! <laughs> Take that, you big worm. Keep it up on me. There we go. Look, that one down. Don't stop. This guy's gonna have trunks too. So now, you have to hit at least three heads. The dark head, of course, summons darkness. And does these, and you have to bloom them. And then if he if darkness will you take damage, so really make sure that doesn't happen. Each head has a different element. Keep that in mind when when you're fighting each head. Not every head's gonna be the same. Like that. It drains your ink, so be really aware of that. That's what happens, so just saying, I couldn't do it in time. This is why Infinity Stones are important. And now you know the reason why I have the Essence of L's. Now you're gonna see why. I told you guys to have those. I see why. The bell. Like that. Instant damage. Perfect. Now. Now you can finally beat them with all you can. I'm gonna do an Infinity Stone again. Now you drink them, and then now you can actually hit them. Of course, use their elements against them. That's basically the best way to do it. Now you could hit them. The worm's down, now you can hit them. Now that fire head's down. The dark head, I usually go this direction. You can go whatever direction you want, but... I usually go with this, the... I usually go clockwise. I usually go, like, th like, this direction, because that's how I do it. Use any element, use any... anything, literally, it doesn't matter. 
Now the wind head, then the water head. All right, wind head, come on. I like how each of them has a distinct roar, so it's not all the same roar. Each of them has a distinct roar. I like that. It's cool. Just the fire of it, and there you go. Now for the water head, the lightning head, the light head, and the dark and the earth head. I that's what I call them because based on their elements, so that's what I call them. I don't know if every head is a different name, but that's what I call them anyway, based on the element that they possess. The water head is actually weak to the fire head. That's just the each head is so you see how much damage it does compared to like yeah. The lightning head, the the, op the opposite to the fire head, the one that's always confused about what's going on. So whenever it does, be careful about those. He will get confused, and then like you just slash him, and that's it. And there we go. All right, next the lightning head. Now the light head, which uses light, light rays to damage you. Avoid those. So huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's hot in here. That's why. It was hot, that's why <laughs> there was no, the air conditioning was fucked up, that's the reason. Yeah, it was freaking hot in here, I was literally like sweating the entire time recording, by the way, just saying that. So now we have the poison head. I call him the toxic poison head. Finally, the earth head. He's also another head that, that does that. So basically intoxicate them and they're fucked. And there you go, that's it. That's all the heads. Done. And dusted. <laughs> that's it. That's every head. That's order chief for you. Done. On our part, now it's just on this turn. A time has come, O sacred moon of the heavens, come forth and pierce this darkness. Bear witness to the beast's demise upon my trusty sword, Tonehiboku! Did he say moon? Right, the legend says that moon was shining when Nagi slew Orochi. The moon, the moon, it came out. <laughs> it's a little flower! <laughs> it's a subtle style blade of truth! Good! Will! Never! Give! In! To! Finish it off on me. No, Fido, I don't need your help this time. Now for the ultimate in Susano style martial art, yes. Celestial Cleaver. Oh my god. Oh hell yeah! Susano, my man! I love you! I love you, Susano. You're such a badass. <laughs> I love Susano. He's such a badass. Dearest Kushi, just as you devoted your life to sake brewing. 
The way of the sword is all I know. Yet I have failed, for I unleashed that foul beast upon the world. I allowed evil to cloud in my judgment. Who am I to claim the right to wield a sword now? Alas, there is no reason for me to live. Oh, Susano, why do you look so serious? Come on, laugh like you normally do. Looking like that is what makes monsters turn up. So come on, laugh. Laugh like you do when you help me harvest the rice every year. <laughs> do that one for me, thank you. Oh, our first glaive. Which is based on Tsukiyomi. What a fitting, what a fitting sword. You obtain divine instrument Suk Sumagari, which is based on Tsukiyomi, the sword that imprisoned Orochi. Holding release sword, which is glaive. So now we have glaives. This is a class I talked about previously, and now that we have one, we're gonna get into it. And so it came to pass that a hundred years after its first defeat, the dreadful Orochi succumbed to Amaterasu and Susanoo's onslaught. As the foul breath left Orochi's twisted body, the curse lifted. A powerful sword known as Sumegari appeared. It was the reborn form of Sukiyomi, which had been consumed by Orochi. Armed with this new blade, Amaterasu prepared for the adventure. At that moment, a mysterious evil force emerged from Orochi's corpse, splitting off in all directions and flying off into the distant sky. At that time, no one had any inkling as just what of that force was. The truth is, the real calamity and chaos had yet to visit the world. But for the time being, Kamiki found itself enjoying a new era of peace. Our story, however, is far from over. In fact, it is just the beginning. That's right, Ami. We're just getting started. I mean, we can't let a great adventure simply end like this. Yeah, I'm only episode 10, so that'd be a short let's play. Dude, my shortest let's play was like nine episodes, so like, this would be one of my shortest let's plays today if it was. Now give me one of those famous victory howls of yours. Hell yeah. We defeated Odarchi. How did I do? Yo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, that feels good. Hell yeah. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and equip uh, Sumagati. So we're gonna go ahead and equip that. And I'm gonna go ahead and talk more about Glaze a bit more. At last, at last the time has come. The unseverable bonds between heaven and earth. Waka, the situation has grown urgent. You must return to the city at once. Presbien? Amaterasu, you may have slain Orochi this time, but don't assume it will be so easy the next. Alright. We'll celebrate a festival! Shall we? What a beautiful night sky. Check out the starry sky! I know there's some where my furry friend. These constellations of the brush gods are waiting to be found. Let's have a little festival, shall we? Have a little bit of time... Wow, that must have been one of the Thomas fireworks. Wonder if the villagers already found out what if she's dead. Oh, I know, it must be the festival. They just started the annual Kamiki festival. Oh, yeah, it's time to party for a back to the village. Hurry. All right, let's go ahead and save the game real quick. I haven't saved in a while. Let's save. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go back to Kamiki village. Here we are. I felt sensed that the ancient monsters appeared in one final roar. That man, Susano, has a relentless and mighty dragon in him. Hi, so there's a new dragon for Susano now. Could it be love? You're curious about Susano's fortunes and love. Well, he could have been back from the village, but I don't sense him anywhere. Perhaps he's special someone taking secrets somewhere. You must be not poke your nose in their affairs too much, my friends. Oh, I will poke my nose in their affairs, bro! Even when they have sex, I'll poke in it. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, give it. And there we go. No, wrong one. There we go. Sumigari. What a beautiful way to equip it. Hey friend, where have you been? The 
Don't you hear? That's the best son of the monster man. Freaky. He used to be the best to avoid trouble. I'll drink a toast to him and a brave warrior. Ah, you look like you're having fun, Wolf. Just chase some monsters off of your territory, have you? You know, the festival is time to honor your sacred tree called Nahana. Maybe a good god small that's in lend, in lend, their, lend to their strength, huh? <laughs> I am a god. Ah, Mr. Bamboo! Ah, are you well, Wolf? Thanks to you, business is good. I'm enjoying a celebratory drink. Ah, oh, looking at this recursive moon reminds me of Kaguya. Do you know anything about her, Wolfie? Yes, I do. Oh, sure. How could a wolf understand how I'm saying it's ridiculous? Then why would you ask Bamboo Brain? Your stuff is me saying no. How would I know? I would I didn't think so. I'd be pretty amazed if you did. Alright. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Gramps! Gramps, speak to me! Stay away from the lie! <laughs> Whoa, that's some powerful stuff. Wow, he's done for the cow. Oh my god. Oh, they drunk. Ah, oh, dude. What do we have here? Nee, nee, you can't catch me. Mushi's all fired up about the whole game record again. Even nobody's known much for how he boosts his whole game skills. Well, I guess I found my own challenge to face, too. Huh? This might be the last time I play with Mushi. You should see I want to face your challenges. I want to see the world and become a real man just like Susano. I'll be never forget the time we spend fishing to get our doggy. Hi, Ume. Hi, Hayabusa. I know it was you who slew the Dread Lord Chief. That was quite a feat. Aw, oh, shucks. We had a lot of help from Susan, too, you know. You defeated Lord Chief and saved the village. I'm sorry, I was too busy with my own duties to help you. Oh, relax. The dog's gotta do what the dog's gotta do, right? I'll give up. I shall start a new turn up and digging record. Huh? You must have death wish messing with the ladies' field like that. I shall become the great warrior like you someday. The master and I are going to experience the world. Good for you guys. Can't wait until we meet again. Hi, Mushi. Hey, it's the new king of hole digging, Snowy. I'm going to be a best friend of Hibusa forever. After all, he did save my life. We're going to dig up trips like it's no tomorrow. Hey, new old digging king. I hope you're going to be practicing the record again. <laughs> I feel like I've just had one heck of a nightmare, man. And how I've come, I don't feel like drinking a sake in that barrel. Oh my god! I guess I must have nodded off. I can usually hold my liquor, but that festival sake is powerful. I fucked you guys up, didn't I? Oh, I must have drifted off a bit. But it's Kaguya right over there. Kaguya? Is that your wife's name? Did you see dead people? Mm. Nah, it's not actually. We'll get into that a bit. Oh yeah, by the way, let me go ahead and... Uh... Oh! Let's go up. Let's go up over to where the, uh, to the balcony area. Guess there's more. I love how you can just mess with it. It's so fun. Let's go up here. Hi, guys. I'm so happy my husband's dance went so well again this year. Now the spirit of Konohana, our sacred tree, as long as the spirit of liturgy can rest in peace. Oh, how wonderful! Truly joyous occasion! Susano defeated her she has saved Kushi. It was a little legend of old had appeared right before my eyes. God, I fear Susano would bring dishonor upon his heroic lineage, but when I saw him as he dashed out this door of his armor, I said Kushi sure was just pitting him into great Nagi. I'm <laughs> like that! Of course, I have never seen a clip of Nagi in the flesh myself, but say, where did Susano go now? I was about to dance with Konohana instead of presenting the usual offer to purification sake. It was all his fault he drank for a sacred sake. Fireworks! Ha <laughs> Gucci Mom Turn up They're great fireworks, really great. Prettier than ever before this year. Let's go this way. Because well, you'll see. Hey there. God, the festival send if you come to play, huh? Well, what do you think? My last place fireworks will work. Nothing is seen, no close, gonna cool stuff. Get ready to be amazed. Here I go. The brightest consolation in the sky. The fable duel spectacular. Amaterasu. <laughs> Isun. Susano. 
Got hot, are you are impressed with it? The golden peach, so this is what we can get, like every reward we after um, restoring every tree. Which is really cool. Of course there's more, those are only a few of them. Wow, look, look, six fireworks are great. Yeah, we're so lucky to see a display like this in our travels. Man, this is nothing like a good festival. I used to go to festivals all the time back home. <sighs> oh, I was thinking about my mommy or that. Anyway, I mommy, mean, you keep talking off. You even name all the brush techniques. So far, you found nine. Let's see. Rejuvenation, power slash, sunrise, and there's three part technique, the goddess of flora, you know. Bloom, water lily, and vine, which only count as one. And finally, there's cherry bomb, water sprout, crescent, gale storm, and inferno. wonder what other four are. The remaining four brush techniques are hidden. We'll visit all over the countryside already. Now we're taking care of water change. Maybe it's time we headed to the capital city. I mean, there's more people there because more gods. Do you let it load a body on me? I haven't seen Susan or Cushy around either. It's not hard to figure it out. I mean, the man and woman is weird during a festival. That's a dead giveaway. They have hots for each other. I wouldn't look for them right now if I were you. Oh, I'm gonna look for them. So, let's go through the gate. Grandmother Okami Matarasu, file of unbridled joy as your safe return. It would appear the final chapter of, of Orochi has been written. The entire village is at your debt. Please accept their thanks and their splendid evening and are feeling a bit intoxicated. By the festival spirits. So let's go in the let's go in here. And uh, you know where the statue of Nagi is? We're back here. Where it all began. It feels very poetic to be back here. So we're gonna go here again. So you know when there was the Son of Kushir, they're actually in, in this area. So let's go there. There they are. What did I say? Oh, it's you again. I see you sniffed me out once again, you little mutt. Well, I suppose, um, I should thank you. I may be the greatest swordsman ever, a descendant of Nagi, but this great deed would have never been possible without a follower. When did you, you become his follower? I commend your valor. Let us become brothers in arms. Brothers in arms! Don't be bashful. Let us pray before Nagi statue. We're now inseparable brothers in arms. What are a species day, right, brother? Sano and his trusty dog brother. <laughs> hey, pops, is there a wolf, not a dog? And this is one of his, his name. It's a Matarasu. Oh, you take good care of my brother, little bug. My good mutt here may have a pretty strange face, but still, you mustn't forget you are dealing with a highly reverbed deity. <laughs> what did you just say? You knew all along. You need to wear. I'm protecting the peace here in Kamiki Village. Behold, Tate Boku, now requesting Susano Blossom, because that's a flower. With a spear blade, I shall rend evil whenever it may. I bet you wish you had one of these instead of that divine instrument. So you were able to see on this trip for from the beginning! Hmm? You again? Well, you can't do anything to to me. <laughs> Listen to you. I'm um, in the middle of something or corpse and so pushy. <laughs> You've got my dress in a scram. Hi, Kushi. Oh, it's you, Snowy. And Isun, too. How brave you were both. Everyone here in the village is so grateful to you. We really can't thank you enough for bringing peace at last. Oh, come on, sweetie. Everyone plays their part in a dangerous time like these. And there's no need for us to think. Very well, Isun, thank you. Now, tell us, Snowy, were you really just an ordinary wolf? The broken mill suddenly fixed, bring water flying to the barrel? So many strange things have been happening since you came along. And you certainly know how to put up a good fight, too. F fight? What fight? Oh, you mean the brawl of Odochi? 
Maybe you're kind of a god here to keep peace for all of us, but I know you won't want people to make a fuss. So I've been careful not to tell anyone too much about you. You can relax here for our village whenever you want, Snowy. You knew too. Oh, have you been enough of the festival already? <laughs> oh, have you had enough of the festival already? <laughs> Boy, Ami, you just don't get it, do you? I think they want to be alone. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Oh, <laughs> uh, they love. They in love. They... They love Otto, they love you. And also, like, what what Sasada was referencing with the whole brothers in arms deal could actually be a reference to something from Japanese mythology. And in that in Japanese mythology there's actually like the whole thing about um about like basically it, like the story of uh, the story of yeah, like Orochi and how Susana was actually the hero in that story as well. But in in Japanese mythology, Susana was actually was Susana and Matarasu were actually siblings. Yeah, they were siblings. I think Susana was like the god of storm or something like that, if I remember correctly. I had to relook it up again. Relook it up, if I remember correctly. Susana was like the god of storm, like Japanese mythology in, in, the, in the original story. He was original. He was like you know a god as well. But but Matarasu banished him because well he wasn't exactly being a good guy. You know he wasn't exactly being a good god or anything like that. So instead, and also why Kushi, and also you may be wondering why Kushi has a brush on the back of her hair. Why her hair is shaped like a like a comb. Well, that's because Susano actually turned her into a comb in the story. Yeah, so in a way, it plays out kind of similarly, but differently, too. It's got a mixture of different stories combined into one. So yeah, the whole Susano referencing the how how him and Amaterasu are brothers is referencing, uh, is referencing like the sibling, how they were siblings in the original story, how they were both basically brother and sister in the original story. So a cool little reference there. Just something that I thought I'd share. It's kind of cool. And also why why Kushi has a brush on her head, uh, uh, it's ref referencing how she was turned into a brush. And Kushi Naga was turned into a brush in the original, was turned into a, a comb in the original story by Susano. So, just something there that I wanted to share. I thought it'd be cool. So there we go. So we basically finished up the first half of the game. The next half of the game is gonna be longer and filled with more stuff. Oh boy. Alright, so I guess there's nothing else to do here in the village except just move on. Wow, that wraps up this year's Kaneki Festival. Sure hope they can have fun next year again. Well, for about I think it's about time we headed to the capital. We're gonna gotta find us up for the brush gods. There's four more left and we're done. Alright. Let's gotta move on. Hi, Sakua. Matarasu, you have only just performed your duties. You plan to leave? My heart aches at the thought of our separation. Sakua, you didn't have to come all the way to say goodbye. Boy, you're pretty subtype for a tree spirit. But at last, the instant of Order Chief's passing, I, I quite clearly saw a swirling black mist. In the confusion, I just sense another evil in Order Chief. I'm not sure what it could be. Is there anything else at work? Shinshu has been restored, off, there's no doubt. But nature's tormented cries ring out other parts of Nippon. Especially chilling are those that emanate from the capital. In the real. The Nishima coast beyond the Fujitaka Pass. Well, whatever planning visiting that place anyway. The black essence born of Order Chief's husk. It was moving towards the capital as well. I cannot say for sure exactly what that means. I know it's whatever has plunged the world into chaos. It's not yet finished toying with us. Just far from over. Is that it? No sage advice for us heroes? But I apologize, little one. The challenges you face on your journey may be many, but I find it's still very weary to prevail. The road you travel will be fraught with peril, but I pray that a fresh sense of flora will protect you. Matarasu, Isu, I wish you a safe, fruitful journey. She's gone. A safe and fruitful journey? After what she said? Give me a break. But I always knew getting all the brush techniques wouldn't be easy. To the capital first stop, the city checkpoint, Taka Pass. So let's go there. We're gonna go ahead, uh, we're gonna go ahead and teleport there pretty easily. Let's at least start there, shall we? Let's go. And I think we'll end the episode pretty much right around there. So we're gonna go there, but best way to go there. It's pretty easy. So. Oh hi! Wolf's race. Hey, here Pooch Fool racing past me by. I just heard Susan took on Ochi. I guess really something, huh? Maybe there's less monster getting in the way she should feel now. Anyway, you got a full competition. Yeah, let's go. Yep. Ready? Go!
Also, by the way, now he has these. Oh god, kill me. Like that. Yeah, be careful about those. I hate it, like, a lot. Careful about that. There we go, gotcha. Phew! You gotta be up with again. Share a fast pooch top center. Got two victories under your belt now. <laughs> Thanks, my man. All right, let's go. Actually, hold on. There is something here. Over here, there's a chest, I remember. That you, now that we have Gale Storm, we could go ahead and uh, use it. Go ahead and get that chest. Oh, hell yeah. Treasure. Alright, let's go. We'll of course get back to Shushu Field later, because in Shushu Field there's actually um like a side quest as well here that we'll get into. Which revolves around the nameless man, so we'll get into that later. But for now, to talk a pass, we go. I'll save it for later, but for now, let's just keep going. I just go to Sassy Century real quick because, um, because there's straight D that I'm missing, and I really want to get that. Hi. I think it's here. I'm not sure, but I think it's here. But maybe we'll find it. I don't know, but maybe we'll find it soon. It's a good shortcut to the city checkpoint. It's a pretty good shortcut to the city checkpoint. So if I had to go here, for that. Also, plus opportunity to get some demon things. Aw, you're so cute. Here we are. Right. Hi, Mario. We're such a liquor. <laughs> Here we are, the city checkpoint. So quick save real quick. Okay, so we're pretty much gonna right around here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let it, please don't, ah! Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, or whatever. And next time we're gonna go ahead and explore more the city checkpoint and maybe and go to Hiroshima Coast where we need to go next. So yeah, see you guys then. Bye. <laughs>